going to show you how to create limelight, which is the very first forms of artificial light. Now, there's an effect called the limelight effect, which was discovered in 1820 by Goldsworthy Gurney. But Thomas Drummond, uh, 1797 to 1840, built a device in 1826 called the, Drum the Drummond light. Okay. Now, this light is limelight, okay? Uh, one of the earliest public performance was on the night of October 3rd, 1836, exactly 10 years after he first built his prototype. It was used to illuminate a magic show. Now, limelight was replaced by the electric arc light in the 19th century. Uh, invented by Sir Humphrey Davy. Now to obtain lime, which is calcium oxide, let's focus on this equation here. So the reagent is calcium carbonate, which is a piece of chalk that I have. So in essence, I'm going to take chalk and convert it into lime, which is calcium oxide. Now to do this, I have to heat the chalk up to temperatures of 825 degrees centigrade. This is a process called thermal decomposition. Now, the calcium carbonate through thermal decomposition is going to give us the products of calcium oxide, which is lime, and uh, carbon dioxide is going to be liberated from the piece of chalk. So the calcium carbonate liberates, okay, or gets rid of the CO2, and this in essence gas, uh, thus in turn forming calcium oxide. Now, upon heating the lime, the material itself, the calcium oxide, undergoes this candle luminescence effect. The material is going to glow. Let's head to the laboratory and let me demonstrate this effect. Now, as a visual, I'm going to use colored chalk. Now, this chalk is the calcium carbonate, it's CaCO3, solid form. Now, to convert this piece of chalk into lime, is the calcium oxide, I'm going to heat it. You're going to see a color change take place here. Upon heating this, it's going to turn white. And that indicates that the carbon dioxide gas is being liberated. Thus, in turn, the calcium oxide is left behind. Now, what you see here is the calcium oxide, or lime. To create this lime light effect, it's best to use an oxyhydrogen torch because the torch, the flame itself, is nearly invisible. But in this video, I'm going to be using a propane torch to heat our material. Now, propane burns at a higher temperature and what butane burns at. So to create this effect, this limelight effect, I'm going to heat our material, and we should be able to see the candle luminescence, and also incandescence should also take place. I'm going to extinguish the lights and apply the flame to the material. I have demonstrated the limelight effect using lime. Lime can undergo candle luminescence due to high temperatures, due to a flame that's applied to the, to the 
calcium oxide material. And as always, thanks for watching.